Cool Picture hits home this week with a fresh new native 4K restoration, again from the original 16mm negative, with HDR, and both cuts do offer identical transfers. Now obviously the 4K is absolutely no match for the data DVD, uh, it's about 20 years old, um, so it's honestly it's really not fair to even compare the two formats, but we're going to anyways, because that's what we do here at TwinFlix. And I do have the DVD, but I forgot to bring it up here with me. Uh, but the screen grabs you'll see are from the 20-year-old DVD and this new 4K UHD presentation. So let's get started. Without having any prior knowledge of the DVD, then you may think that this really isn't a very Im impressive 4K. But that's the point. This was shot on a very low shoestring budget on 16mm stock. And it's grainy, it's grimy, it's dirty, which completely evokes the entire tone of the film. So you can't go into this uh, expecting a fresh modern day 4K UHD presentation. Because again, you're just not going to get that. It's sourced from a 16mm film stock. Comparing the DVD that was littered with age-related wear and tear, image debris, hair scratches, very dull, uh, dated colors, and a lot of flicker, crushing, and shaky image stability. You name it, that DVD had it. It was terrible looking. In, in fact, it even looked blurry at times. This 4K UHD looks fresher and newer, as you can clearly see for yourself here. Vinegar Syndrome gave Thriller a beautiful facelift while still holding true to that raw, grindhouse, dirty exploitation look. And the way they balanced it looks terrific. And thanks to the help of HDR grading, with colors such as reds, uh, blues, and yellows really pop off the screen, and also some lush greens. Whites are brighter whites and look much crisper. And there's inkier, deeper black levels that far, far surpasses the DVD with zero crushing. The images are also razor sharp, which provides much more clarity than ever before. The details and textuals are just outstanding. You can make out all the finer details throughout the film. You can make out threading and clothing, uh, imperfections with facial close-ups. And with the upticks and details, makes the images look much less smeary or blurry, something the DVD was always plagued with. Another thing we never got from the DVD is there is more depth. However, I will say it's nothing mind-blowing. Um, you're not going to see an incredible amount of depth, which is honestly probably due to the condition of the 16mm source material, where some areas look flat and soft. And also the image stability is fantastic with this one. The stability is rock solid from uh, title cards to the image itself, which is a huge improvement over the DVD. I will say though, there is a lot of noise and grain, but the images look so great now, they aren't a distraction. And again, it's to be expected, being sourced from a almost 50 year old 16 millimeter negative. This presentation just offers a stellar example of how to restore an almost 50-year-old grungy, dirty, grindhouse exploitation film in the UHD format. This is a master class, and other studios, they need to take notice of what Vinegar Syndrome is doing here. As for the audio, Thriller Clear Picture only offers a restored PCM mono track. You do have the choice between the original Swedish language with subtitles or the English dub track. Either way, they both sound fantastic, even if it does carry a little bit of age with it. But again, it handles superbly well while still holding true to that exploitation rawness of the audio. There is a lot of impact to the sound and it's, the effects sound great and dialogue is clearer than the DVD audio track was ever. Overall, even though it's a mono mix, it still gets the job done 100% and is a great complement to the image quality. So I'm giving Vinegar Syndrome's release of Thriller 4K UHD a 5 out of a 5. Vinegar Syndrome outdid themselves with this one. They hit this one out of the park, making it a top shelf 4K UHD and a great box set to have in your collection. But I wanna know your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comments. 
uh, when you compare the two formats here between the DVD and this 4K, uh, which do you think looks better? I think it's pretty obvious, but let me know what you think. Now, as far as extras go, because I've had a lot of you out there message me on social media, what are all the extras? What does it include? Well, the features are located on the Blu-rays and not the 4Ks. And I'm going to try to run through them real quickly. So between the both discs, they include a feature-length documentary, including new 2022 interviews with the actress Christina Lindbergh, which is a fantastic documentary. Uh, also, it includes two interviews with two of the stuntmen, which was really interesting to, to hear. The discs also include a handful of 2017 interviews with the cast and crew. A terrific 2017 Q&A with Christina Lindbergh after a screening of the film at the Alamo Draft House in, in Austin. And a special feature that I would say love to watch was the original Grindhouse trailers and teasers. It also includes rare music tracks from the actress Christina Lindbergh, which was really interesting to, to watch. And also the director, before he went into film, he made commercials for Saab. So it includes some commercials that he directed. So yeah, this, this box set includes everything you could possibly want. Well, I don't know what happened here, but it looks like I have some technical difficulties with my camera and a little bit of the mic. But anyways, thanks so much for spending a few minutes here with me with this comparison review video. Keep an eye out for some new ones. I have a handful coming up. And as always, keep physical media alive, and I'll see you next time.